after further review time. And this is going to focus on this phenomenon of the low block outside the tackle box. Inside the tackle box, it's okay to go below the waist and apply a block. Outside the tackle box, you can't do it. There was a call in the Chiefs 49ers game that took a touchdown off the board where uh, Jarek McKinnon went low. But the, the issue here is the flag gets thrown after there were multiple examples, right. the flag wasn't thrown. Right. And you say this, it creates the expectation that it's not going to be an issue right. in the game. That's how the game is being officiated. So when it changes all of a sudden, then like this right here. Okay, that's a, a the, the, the blocking back, yep. chipping low right. inside the tackle box. We saw it multiple times in that game before the foul. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, you're saying it, right? I, it's like the, the they changed the strike zone in the middle of the game. That, that That's the problem. And that's what drives players and coaches crazy. The Mike Vrabels of the world. You know, he needs to send another snarky email to the league. I mean, some that that's where, so how, what do you coach here? And, you know, we're coaching and we're continuing to further along the game here because, first off, what an amazing throw by Mahomes. It's insane. But, it, uh, uh, but, but, but here it's like, okay, well, we called the play in the first quarter. We did it. Nothing happened. Let's go to the next play, guys, if we can go to the next play. Here's the second quarter. Okay. All right. Hey, same type of thing. Sprint out right. You see Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. Do it. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, this is working for us today. We're, we got a few different versions of it. We're going to call it again here in a little bit. You know, good job attacking his outside leg running back. Let's keep doing that. All right? So then you think, okay, great. We got something here. There, This is cool. The referees are cool with it. It's all good. All right? And then, you know, to your point, Mike, here, and then we get to the touchdown, guys, and we can show that after we show this one more time. Where it's exactly the same. And now we're going to take points off the board, even though it's been done exactly like this, and a crucial part of the game, end of the half, I mean, here's the one. Yeah, right? Here's the one that was the flag. Right. And what's different about this one compared to the other ones? So that one was even closer to the box than the second one. It the was, one, right? I got a theory. Yeah. After seeing all three of them, right. especially the second one, if right. we can go back and show the second one. Yep. What's your um, theory, though? This, Let me hear it. Here, here's my theory. Somebody was warning the Chiefs, you're you're hitting these guys low outside the tackle box. You better stop it or I'm going to throw a flag. And so there was a borderline call, and he threw the flag because he warned him not to do it. I, you, that's, the only, that's the only explanation that I have. You, you, Here's the second one that's right. farther out of the box. Yeah. And they may have said after that, hey, man, to Mahomes or to whoever, we got we to gotta, – because this one is, is closer – well, it's not even closer. It's it's clearly out of the box. That one should have been flagged. And maybe they got a warning. So when it happened again later in the quarter, okay, we're going to throw the flag. And you know what? We're only talking about plays that happened in the first half. They didn't do it in the second half. Yeah. I, you know, again, now that, that's something that I would love to hear from the NFL. And, and that's those are the things I'd like to hear from the referees. So then maybe we don't question it. You know, and, and that could be a real possibility. Shanahan and company, D'Amico Ryans, they complain to the refs. You know, the refs see at that time. They warn the Chiefs, hey, you do it again. We're going to call it. And then they did it. If that went down, then I'm cool with that. You know, but, but you know, if it didn't, then then it's totally inconsistent and not fair. And it looks like you're just flying by the seat of your pants there when you do that that way. And that that's where right. I think we we go we all go crazy a little bit with the the whole the whole thing. That last one though, the way the flag comes out, it's almost like he was looking for it. It's just and again, I'm just piecing this all yeah, together I hear you. right by what we see and and the things that we've learned over the years watching these games. We know how the officials communicate with players. And there's, it's just it's it's almost like I'm watching for this. We got shotgun formation, sidecar to the right, the motion flows to the right, the guy, and I told them to stop this. I told them not to do this. There's just something about that. It's just like, you know what? I expected to do this. There's a ca very casual, there it is. Like, I was looking for this. I told them not to do it, and they did it anyway. The, I If I had to make a bet, on what happened it would be that they were warned after the second one they did it again they got flagged and they didn't do it again the rest of the game yeah uh, maybe and mike it, it, you know again it doesn't show it on this copy but if you watch on film and watch this game mahomes throws the ball to your point mike and turns around pretty quick and has a conversation with the referee that 
you know, again, if I was like you, piecing things together, reading between the lines and the tea leaves and all that type of stuff, I'd go, well, maybe, maybe they did warn them. Maybe they did. And, you know, I would love to know that. But these are the things that I know that, you know, you and I, we, we want to see consistently caused. Now, here's the other aspect too, Mike, that I think has got to be taken into account here. The tackle box goes outside the tackle a little bit. It goes a little far. You gotta, you gotta imagine there's a tight end on the end of the line of scrimmage too, so that's where, that's where also I think there's some gray area, and you could sit there and go, well, if there was a tight end there, all three of those blocks are within the confines of what the rules are there, and you know, again, that's where it's iffy. But yeah, you know, if they did that, Mike, to your point and warned them, then then I got no problem with it. And that does happen from time to time, and there's no transparency with that. We're not privy to those conversations. Maybe today, today's the day. Oh, they're on a bye week, so I don't know when we're going to hear from Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid next, but maybe it'll come up then uh, in one of the questions, and maybe they'll explain, yeah, you know what, they told us they, they, they told us that we were close to the line, and, and that's why they threw the flag to take that touchdown off the board. All right, let's take a break. We'll see the feats of strength and the best catches from week seven in a combination platter when PFT Live continues right after this. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk. 